Um, some so some of you have been asking me about uh, the blues little blues thing I've been playing. Uh, so I decided I to write a little song. Uh, so this is a little blues song I wrote for the ukulele, and this one's called Bangsa Blues. So I'll play it uh, for you, and I'll actually teach you how to play it, so you can also le learn to play some blues on the ukulele. So this is uh, Bangsa Blues. One, a two. A uh, one, two, three. So that's the little song. Uh, there is no real soloing or improvising yet, uh, but I just want to show you how I play the melody, and we can use this as a way to start learning blues melodies on the ukulele. So the chords are actually the first chord is actually this. We we don't actually play it in the beginning, but it's actually this. It's a C seven. It goes on the third fret, fourth fret, third fret, and third fret, and this is a bar. So this is actually the sound underneath the melody. But the melody that I want that you can play is this. Now how do you do that? So firstly you play this open string, third open string, and then I'm using the first finger here. I'm doing a hammer on. Open string, first finger, hammer on to the fourth fret, third fret to the fourth fret, first and second finger. Then I go to the second string, first finger, and then the third finger, and then I play this top note C. And that's the main melody, so that happens once. Then I play almost the same thing, but I change the ending note. Now this is a great trick. You can write a melody, play a melody, and just change the last note, and it makes it sound uh, a little different. And this actually ends on this note, it implies as if you went to this chord, which is actually uh, an F9 chord. This is an F7 chord. This is actually an F7 chord. Two, three, one, three. But uh, to make it sound jazzier, you can play this one instead. And it's going to be a uh, two, three, three, three. But again, I'm not playing the chord, I'm playing the melody, but it implies the chord. That's the thing about jazz, you can play the melody and it makes it sound as if you're playing that chord. So again, from the start. So I just changed the ending, so one, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three. So there, I have this part. Now, then I play this, the original melody twice again. So uh, it goes back into so let me play the first four bars one two three second so again slowly the first four bars Again, slowly, open string here, first finger, hammer on to the fourth fret, second string, first finger on the third fret, hammer on to the fifth, ending on the C note here. Then the only difference it goes to this one to the third fret. Okay? Now again let me play it from the start so you can hear it up to that point. Now, I'm on the 5th bar of the blues, the 5th bar of the blues it goes to F7, or F9 in this case, and I play just the, the second part of the melody, that melody, sorry, 
it's a bit different. It goes. So it goes. So from the third fret to the fifth fret, third fret to the fifth fret, and then ending here on the third fret. So I do that twice. Got it? Now, after that, I go back to the original melody again. So, so far we have 8 bars. And let me play it so you can hear how it sounds so far. And then it goes back. Here, chord chord. So here the chord goes 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four. You can also play a simpler version, three, four. That's basically it. The only thing I do at the very end, I repeat the whole form twice, and the very end, here it goes on the 6th fret, 3rd fret, 6th fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, and then I play C7. And that's it. So, uh, I'll play the whole song again so you can hear it. Uh, and then you can watch the video again and again to get the melody. Just watch it again and again and hopefully it makes more sense. I'm not using too many things and hopefully this will be a good introduction uh, in case you haven't played the blues on the book Okay, let me go from the start. One, two, one, two, three. That's it. So, in case you're wondering what I'm doing on the right hand, for the most part, you watch. I'm mostly just using I and M, alternating I and M, index finger and middle finger. And really, just use uh, any kind of fingering that is comfortable for you. Um, and just just take it slow first, um, watch the video again and again, get just one part at a time and hopefully this uh, will help you get into some uh, bluesy jazz ukulele or jazzy blues ukulele, okay? Hope this helps. See you. Uh, my name is Az Samad. Uh, please uh, like the video if uh, you like the video and uh, please uh, leave a comment any requests in case, um, any requests, any questions at all about this lesson. Hopefully this has helped you out. Thank you so much. See you guys. Bye.